We got Molly Skyler, Scott Bowling, and it's good company. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, now it's raining. We're gonna eat some cold tacos today. It's raining. Man. He's gonna take his shirt off. Hey guys, my name is Scott Bowling, and you're watching Good Company. Today we have a very, very awesome episode. We have Molly, Molly Schuyler, food competitor, right? It's Women's a lifestyle. versus food. Women versus food, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mom versus food, woman versus food. Kind of, kind of <laughs> combine that up there. Eat for a living. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, make some money. I got like a million questions for you, by the way. How did you, how did this thing start? Like, what made you decide to eat food Ugh. on YouTube for... Oh god. Well, <laughs> so I mean, I had four kids and they were all small and I had gone to college earlier and got my degree, but they were worthless because my daycare would have killed me. I mean, I'm not going to pay $3,000 a month to put my kids into daycare and work a real job. Mm. So I always worked a convenient job like bartending and serving and such and um when I lived in Nebraska, someone had bet me at a local place that, hey, you can't eat this five pound burger. I'm like, you can't eat the five pound burger. <laughs> and I was actually vegetarian at the time. Were you? So I waited for about a year and they kept nagging on me. And eventually I went in and ate the burger. And I was eating it slow because there was this table of elderly ladies behind me. I didn't want to be gross and hand my kids. And they kept thinking I was, they thought I stole my food and put it in my purse. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh God. So, nah. And then I ate the rest of my kids' food too. And Did you? it really snowballed from there. So you were vegetarian though? And, and that didn't make you like sick or nothing? It, it wasn't for any reasons of like, I mean, I just was trying to eat healthy and stuff like that and not eat a lot of garbage. But yeah, I mean... I mean, I guess I was drinking a lot at the same time, too, so I guess that really didn't... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I drank helps. a lot, but I was mostly vegetarian, and then I, yeah. I when just... you were, like, younger, growing up, um, did you eat a lot? I mean, when did, you know, you know what I mean? Like, were you just... What did you do when you were younger, I mean? Uh, I remember in kindergarten doing milk carton races. You know those little eight really? ounces? I would slam it back because I, I, could, I could like open my throat and I wouldn't even swallow. It would just go down. Yeah. And all the boys I would wish I could do that. I can't, I can't do that. So that and then uh, I mean, if, we, <laughs> if we ever went out, I had three brothers and my dad would always take us to buffets because he was you know, watching money. And he'd always yell at us and say, you better get my money's worth. I'm just like, ooh. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if like buffets are still will ever be open again because of COVID, you know? Not That's right, like a, yeah. a thing of the past. It kind of, right? people are gross though. They don't have, uh. Buffets are weird because the food, like I've always loved like Ryan's all this place, but the food just sits out all day, right? It's all crusty. Yeah. 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 No. It's just weird. Yeah. Not appealing at sometimes. And with like, with, with all this COVID thing, I don't know if I'd ever go back to a buffet. I, maybe if the workers served it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It just sits there for so many hours and you have the. Think about the think yeah. about people sending their kids up there. Eh, eh. I'm just like ah, oh, no. It's like that chocolate fountain. Oh, it's I like won't some eat, booger won't picking won't, kids. That's like, the one thing I won't touch. I won't touch the fountain. You won't. I won't touch that. Even thing. for a challenge? No. Well, if there's money involved. I suppose. <laughs> but other than that, no, I wouldn't touch that thing. What was your uh, What was your first challenge? Like, how did you do that? Was that just to win a free meal or something? Yeah. That's, that's, it seems like that's the story for everybody. It's like I just wanted a free meal. No, I just wanted to shut somebody up. Oh, yeah? Um, I mean, it, it. usually almost all of them are just free. It was just a, like, four and a half pound, big old tall burger. Just a little four and a half pound. Burger of eggs and cheese and peanut butter and a bunch of stuff on it, so. Okay, so when you start, any anytime you start something new, you kind of stink at it first. When you first ate that, did you kill it? I mean, was it, like, were you, like, the <laughs> prodigal? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I didn't want to bother anybody, so I did it in 15, but I came back, like, uh, a couple of weeks later, and I did it in three. So, wow. Yeah. And so when you when you did that first challenge, nobody saw it, right? You didn't film it or nothing. They didn't film it, but they kept poking their head around the corner. I mean, I wasn't trying to make a show. I didn't. I didn't want any attention for it. Yeah. I, I really didn't. I didn't want people <laughs> looking at me thinking I was like this weird lady like shoveling this food in your face. I was like, uh, okay. So was that before you had kids when you did that first challenge? It was in 2012. So no, I had all four of them at that time. Mm. Two of my kids were with me, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do, do your kids ever like try to eat a lot? <laughs> no, no, I, I don't. I don't want a grocery bill like that. So, no. <laughs> oh, that's good. So you did your first challenge. When did you decide like I'm gonna make a YouTube thing and all that? 
Um, God, I mean, I think I did my first video late in 2012, but I didn't wow, put Wow, that long ago, huh? But I didn't put any time into my YouTube channel. I mean, I did not put, I didn't post regularly. I didn't, because I didn't, I, mm. I, I was kind of shy. My self-esteem was kind of like, eh, and I didn't, I didn't know how to do it. So I just didn't post anything. I did, I see a bulk of the things I've done for eating. There's no record of it. Yeah. I mean, the restaurants know I've done it or, but I never put any videos up really until about three years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so that's a long gap, right? So yeah. three years ago, you decided to make this more, like, how do you get your fault? Like that, that intrigues <laughs> me. Like, cause you have a lot of, and it's funny we were talking about earlier. You're like, well, I don't, I only have this many people. I'm like, oh, I wish I had that many people yeah. <laughs> that subscribed. But that that takes discipline. Do you post like once a week or twice a week? Twice a week. That yeah, yeah. Mm. That's a lot. Yeah. I wish I could do that. Uh, well, I mean, it's it. Sometimes they're. I, I try to like bulk them up and whatever else. I can do two or three challenges if they're small, mm -hmm. and then take a break or something like that. I mean, I can't do this every day. I mean, I would just feel rotten. Oh my gosh! Yeah. How would your body? <laughs> you could do that every day, right? You poop a lot. <laughs> yeah. 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 So. I was gonna ask you about that because it's like <laughs> I, there needs to be like a follow up. Like after I ate five hundred Twinkies. This is what happened. <laughs> it that, just shows you in the bathroom. Just that and the people are like, can I get a picture of your belly? I'm like, no. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So yeah. when you eat that much and people want to take photos, you got to be like, go away. Because you got to feel like garbage, right? I No, when, they're, when I'm sitting there and I'm trying to eat that, it's like people are staring at me. And usually they're like, they're saying something like, like they're talking about you all rude behind. I'm just like, you know, I make more money doing this sometimes than you do in your whole month. So leave me alone. Don't, don't, yeah. make, don't make fun of my sandwich. Oh, yeah. That's the worst, dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh! So how many um, how many videos you've had now? So you've done three you've done three years. Um, um, I'm trying to remember like how many videos you have. I'm trying to catch up to all your videos. Actually, I'm gonna ask you about the Bell Life. So <laughs> that's how I found out about you. Oh gosh, the Bell Life. Um, I had actually been in contact with them several times um, over this last I'd say six months or so, and I knew where they were. Mm -hmm. um, it's just it's an eight hour drive from where I live, and I've been talking back and forth with them. And they're like, "Well, whenever I was in the area, that's like, hey, hit us up." Well, yeah. I brought the kids out to their grandmother's house uh, for the summer, and to their oh to their okay, gotcha, yeah, they gotcha. live in Wisconsin, so yeah, I yeah. drove up to Wisconsin and then just kind of <laughs> <laughs> nice, yeah. So I kind of did a little U turn and and hooked up with them. They're really nice people. I love that you're on that show. That's how I found out about you. And I was telling you that earlier. That's how I know you were. Uh, who you are no, on there. Great guys. Seriously, you great guys. You ate 67, you see, I call them crystals, but it's White uh, White Castle. White Castle, yeah. Yeah. I, thought, I came in off a cold stomach being in a car for two days, so I was completely unprepared. So 67 for me, I felt so bad. I was just like, I'm, I should have done more. Oh, I yeah? I felt horrible. Like, how horrible did you feel after eating 67? Oh, I, I, I tried to eat the rest of them. We just sat there and kept eating them. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I, after the camera stopped? Yeah, yeah. We I think we left maybe eight on the counter. So you and the other guys in Bell Life ate? It wasn't just you. Like They weren't, eat, they weren't eating anymore. No. So you were just, just casually eating yeah. all the rest of the yeah. food? <laughs> oh, man. Was that good? Did you like that? You're like, uh, They're still good. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, they're not bad. I mean, just they were just cold. I remember, like, you did this epic, like, there was all these onions on the table, and you did this scoop, you're like, Whoosh! and it was all onions, you're like, oh, and I was like, I got to have her on the show. <laughs> well, it would, been, it would have been cheating if I left that there. I mean, there's, like, a big pile of crap there, so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah would you ever go back on the Bell Life, or is that just kind of a one-shot, one kind of deal? No, I, I've talked with them, because they, they're try they are trying to get me to do something so disgusting that I actually lose it on video. And I'm just like, I'm like, bring it on. It's like, cause it's never happened. So, I mean, I'll, I'll give it to him. That's fine. How do you come up with new ideas on, on stuff to eat? I mean, you recently posted a video of eat, doing fish uh, sticks, which mm. is awesome. I think I filmed that like four year, four months ago, actually. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. yeah. That, that's when nothing was really open and I couldn't get to any restaurants or anything like that. Um, yeah, with this COVID thing, right? Yeah, it's, 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 been, it's been a nightmare. Um, so usually whatever I can find in bulk or on sale. Uh -huh. I mean, if I can find something that isn't completely disgusting that I can cook, like make make it my job. Or... Do you go like, here we have like Sam's Club and stuff. Do you have like places that sell in bulk, you know? Uh, some, I mean, but it really isn't beneficial in some places where in bulk it's gonna be a good deal anyway. Mm. I mean, eat a gallon of mayonnaise. I mean, you can always find a gallon of mayonnaise in a big container and eat the gallon of mayonnaise. But fish sticks, I've never seen like a 12 pound bag of fish sticks. I could have a whole episode about you eating a gallon of mayonnaise. 
I can do like, that. Like, what is it? Yeah, it's so gross. It's really? so bad. Like, what it's, runs through your mind? You're just like, got to get through it. Just one, one, one spoon full of No, it's like, just don't, puke, just don't puke. Just, just don't, don't puke? puke. Yeah, just don't puke. Just don't puke, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, it, this is a random question, but when you ate 67 crystals, like, the aftermath on that's got to be devastating. Like, you can't just get in your car and leave, right? You no. got to be like, I got to hang out for a little bit. No, I got in my car and left. Oh, did you? No, I drove to... Uh, You're good? I drove You're good home. to go? Yeah. Um, today is going to be awesome because after this interview, you're going to compete with Nathan. We need to have a better name for Nathan, by the way, like like Thunder. <laughs> we got to come up with a cooler all, name. All man. the white claws he's putting away, he's he's going to be at. He, yeah. Oh, he, he's in trouble. Oh, I know. He's going to be drunk. It, it, he's got the um, the mustache. It's going to be an awesome mustache. Right. You can like you can like mustache hide rider. the food in in there Thunder. maybe like tuck it under there and see if you want. Yeah. Yeah. You can smell it for days. Oh god. <laughs> I noticed on you you have like you do the Q and A's right on your channel. That's cool. Sometimes. I mean I, I if I'm around. That's is that live, like Facebook live kind of thing? I would get more nervous about that doing live stuff, you know. Do people ask you questions and you can kind of read what they're asking and answer them? Yeah, and then they get mad because I can't read every single question and answer them. Yeah. And they, they get mad. Really? I'm like you know that that's the thing. I keep going back to the Bell Life, and that's how I found you. But but they all everybody's saying like, oh, your video's fake and all this stuff, and that's got to be so frustrating, you know. My videos are uncut, one hundred percent uncut. Yeah, and you're doing them for free. Like nobody has to pay for them, no. so it's it's crazy. I've got nothing to prove to anybody. I can uh -huh. eat over twenty pounds of food, so if you want to think it's fake, that's fine. But it's like they're completely uncut. I mean, right. they may be sped up, but there's never a break in my videos. I noticed that. Yeah. Would yeah. you ever do like live stuff like on stage? Yeah. That's cool. Have you done that before? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did my, my last one I did live, I think I did jalapenos. Uh, I can't remember if I did that live or not. I did. I know I did it one year live. I did like 310 jalapenos this year in, about, in just over oh in like 10 minutes in Laredo. <laughs> so, oh I my mean, gosh. It's there, it's like you can't cheat at that, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that like though, like eating all that and being on stage and people, I mean, it's gotta be intense. Like how do you prepare for that? I mean, are you nervous? Do you get nervous? No. Doing that kind of thing. Because if you fail, you fail. You can't really change what you're going to do. So if I suck, I suck. So you don't think about the, the night before, be like, hey, tomorrow I'm going to be in front of all these people eating us. No, no. I don't care if I make a fool of myself. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> I have no <good>. shame. <laughs> I mean, you're shoving food all over your face and dropping water on and someone probably is going to piss themselves and someone's going to throw <laughs> up. And it's like, I mean, what do we, I mean, I'm not exactly ladylike at that point. So all right. it, it doesn't matter. And you said you've never thrown up before right? on a challenge. Not ever, but on a challenge, right? I mean. Have you ever just lost it? Lost the afterwards, cookies? Afterwards, whatever, off camera, like when I drank two gallons of oil. Uh -huh. I mean, I, I will admit that I ran for the bathroom <laughs> and then the time that I drank a gallon of Frank's Red Hot and then chased it with a gallon of ranch yes I projectile vomited off my porch so yes it happened gosh but, like how many feet when you say projectile is that like a good six oh it's, it's way up off the ground so nice. it actually has some good distance to it yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, when I when I asked you to be on the show you were saying that you you, you listen to Sirius XM and usually I have musicians so it's special having you on here um, what kind of music did you grow up listening to my mom listened to Patsy Cline and Roy Orbison. Right. So some old, yeah. old school. Awkward. Do you still listen to that? Or no, is... <laughs> no, no. It made little cassette tapes, whatever. I remember that all in the in the Dodge Caravan. I was like, Mom, please stop. <laughs> I mean, I listen to uh, usually just Octane. Um, yeah, that's cool. On Sirius, and then sometimes I flip between maybe a country station or something like that. But so you like rock and country, huh? Who, who, who? What, what are some of the rock artists you listen to? God, like literally anything that's on Octane is usually just on repeat at this point. Did you go to a lot of concerts back when we actually could go to concerts? Um, I like the Trans Siberian Orchestra. No, that sounds oh, nice. weird. They're no, awesome. that's cool. Aerosmith many times. I tried to get to the You Metallica. saw Aerosmith a lot? Yeah. That was my first contest, uh, concert. Oh, concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. What What year did you first see Aerosmith? Ooh, it was like maybe 87-ish. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's why actually, actually when I first got into them, when they did Pump, like Janie's Got a Gun and that's all that good stuff. That's yeah. Yeah, that's classic, man. That's good. That's when I got in Aerosmith. I wish I was like, I could be like, oh, it was Toys in the Attic. But and then when the CDs finally started coming out, everyone was so excited. Do you remember your first CD? It was Aerosmith. Oh, it was. Yeah, it was. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> My first CD was embarrassing. I got The Simpsons, Do the Blues. And it I was had like that. the Bartman. I had that. that I actually had that. 
Did you? That was great. That was, man. And then when Beavis and Butthead did America, that I was... I a- love that. That was a great, great album. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. They had, uh, they had, what did they have? They had, like, Anthrax on there. The great thing about that album, the not-so-great thing about that album is you can listen to it on Spotify, mm-hmm. and, and they have all the stupid, like, Beavis and Butthead intro things in and out cut up on that <laughs> album, which sounds cool, but it doesn't when you're working, and you're like, huh, huh. <laughs> You're like, God, man, I've heard this song five times. It sounds times. like Nathan. Yes, it does, right? He should, he should do that during the, uh, the the food competition we're about to do. Uh, he probably will be doing that when he's trying not to gag. Yes. Yeah, so the big question I asked Nathan, and, and I was like, do you go on E, like empty, before uh, you, before you're about to compete? Or do you eat a little bit? Or like? Yeah, because your stomach's empty. It just hurts. Really... You, feel, you just feel hungry, and it's gross. Okay, this is going to be good. We're about to do a food 50 tacos a piece. Soft tacos. Soft tacos. And Taco Bell is making some money. I was yeah, like, right? 50 tacos a piece ain't nothing. I'm like, wow. They should have given you a discount. <laughs> I know, man. Yeah. Yeah, right? A frequent buyer. <laughs> and you did Taco Bell before, right? You did the whole menu. Didn't you do something like that? Um, I think I did the the cravings menu like three times or something stupid. Like that. So it was like 30 <laughs> things, I think. <laughs> I can't remember. What is there any was. like food challenge? That, is there something that you want to eat that you haven't done yet? Is there? Have you, have you done? You've done so many videos. How do you come up with new ideas? Like there's, mm-hmm. or or do you look at stuff that like you hate that you had to try? Like is there a food something you don't like and you're like I gotta, I gotta eat that. I just I look guess. for dumb ideas on the internet. Yes, and, and uh, I mean whatever. Or if I see something on sale in the grocery. La Beast came up with this like ranch soda, and I was like, oh my oh, god, gross. that's. <laughs> I was like, how do you find that? Like, what does he do at night? Does he sit there and like he, weird drinks on eBay? He pur- I think he purposely gets into stuff like that. I think, didn't he find like that something that would, um, was hooked to like a leaf blower and, a, and he drank beer or something <laughs> yeah. like that? I'm just like, good God, man. <laughs> he did this one video where he covered himself in peanut butter and he's like, squirrels are going to eat off me. It is like nine hours there. He's like, this is dumb. <laughs> uh, yeah. Have you ever done like a food challenge with like you should have a food challenge with an artist like a music somebody musical you know what I mean that'd be cool I'd be down you need that'd to come down to, you need to come down to here and do this like once a month right so we'll do a food challenge and you interview someone that I interview let's do it I'm in I'm okay <laughs> I got enough time yeah yeah you bring your kids down here too that'd be cool ooh there was a town called kid challenge we'll have a kid food challenge my kids and your kids. See? <laughs> <laughs> well, my kids are most of my kids are bigger than your kids already, so. Well, they may win. <laughs> they can go, yeah, there's a vacation spot called, I think it's called Helen. You're Helen, right? Helen, Georgia. Oh yeah, my yeah, gosh, yeah. I drove through there and there was this. down there. Huh? Yeah. I mean, it's an old, nice, it's, I love that town. They have this, like, they, yeah, they have a place uh, with a sandwich challenge. It was, like, not so massive, but it was good. Oh, you did a challenge in Helen? Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, some kind of tavern or pizzeria thingy. Yeah, I haven't been there forever. Something called. Nah, I can't remember. Oh, that's it. so cool. Yeah, yeah. they have a, they do like an Oktoberfest kind of thing down there, which is really nice. But, yeah, yeah I figured. Cool. Yeah. Do you come to Georgia a lot, or is, is this? First I've time? been through the airport many times. Yeah, I'm probably I'm very, much busier. very seasoned. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's not not busy at all anymore. No, it's not. It's pretty sad actually. So, are you ready? After this, you're gonna eat fifty tacos. I'm hoping so. You may win. Or you may lose. Well, we have, we have um, claw, claw thunder, thunder claw, thunder claw, aka Nathan. We got thunder claw over there who is Fozzy, uh, Fozzy claw. He's he's at risk right now because he's 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 already he's so buzzed <laughs> from that white claw. He's been he's on like twelve cans already. Oh, have you ever done an alcohol challenge, or is that not popular? Like, I actually don't. First drink. of all, I don't know if I'm close enough to the microphone or not, but yeah. I am ready to take on the fifty Taco Bell taco challenge against Hot. you i have been practicing for the past 28 years eating tacos so i'm ready i just wanted to just dip in real quick and just say i'm ready for the challenge yes yeah that's what she said oh that's what she said that's yeah yeah you need to yeah, that's awesome man thank you nathan mauer yeah thunder claw that thunder guy claw. Ow. That, that guy that guy that guy <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Now we're gonna find something better next time, though, and you're not gonna like it as much as tacos. What What do you think? Never mind. Oh, I don't know yet. Oh, it'll be gross, though. Oh yeah. Oh buddy. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I see love what this we can, guy. We'll see what we can find. So anyway, alcohol challenge. Have you ever done that before? I actually don't drink. Oh, you don't drink? No. Have you ever drank? Yes. Okay, but not anymore. Okay. No, I was well, probably about fifty idea. pounds heavier though. Yeah, I yeah, should. I should not drink. Yeah. 
someone like you, like that you're so in like, I asked you what kind of shirt you want and you said small. I'm like, I look like, how do you stay small eating like a thousand Twinkies and, and all this crazy food you eat? Well, I don't know who's eating a thousand Twinkies because that sure ain't me. You ate a hundred, right? I ate a hundred, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I mean, not, anybody who does this, doesn't, we don't do it every day. It's it, Nobody does it every day. Yeah. And I've got four kids, so I'm always doing something. And I mean, I work like two or three jobs. And so, I mean, it's like, it's not every day. Yeah, that, you do that makes this. sense. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, uh, that makes sense. I don't. Yeah, totally. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't need to be like as big as a house. No. <laughs> Large Marge. Large Marge Lar- sent you. Remember that? Large yeah, Marge yeah. sent you. Pee-wee. Like a dump truck falling off of a skyscraper. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> well, I appreciate you being on the show. This no, is so awesome. This is awesome. All I can this think is- about is you eating fifty tacos with Nathan, Nate Dog over there. So I'm just uh, in awe of this room. This is just crazy shit. Every, yeah, I love this, this. Oh yeah. 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 So music's always been my thing. So and and it's cool that you like music too and kind of relate on that. Yeah. And Aerosmith is your band. That's awesome. Who's your favorite band? Oh God. Um, I like Five Finger Death Punch. They're Uh-oh. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. My buddy's friends. Adelita's with the bass Way player. is pretty good. Who? What you say? Adelita's Way. Um, uh, yeah, I don't listen to them. Uh, like I mean, honestly, it's like I don't like, usually listen to the radio. It's usually on Sirius XM. Yeah. So. Almost always. Yeah, I had Jose Mangan on the show. He's really cool. He sounds really cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would super definitely, I'd like to meet him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's a super cool guy. So what do you just, like, bring people from across the country? Yeah. That's neat. I mean, not the, yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, kind of. I've done this for about three years, so it's cool. It's come a long way. Yeah? How long have you, you you've done your show for, what, about three, three years, right? I mean, since you, it came back around. I mean... I guess like the first video I did, it was just like an eater collab. Mm-hmm. And my first video, it was pretty stupid. Uh, it was how <laughs> fast you could eat five Milky Way, sam- like those chocolate bars or whatever. Yeah. Whoever could eat them the fastest and put your own spin on it. I put was, your own spin on it. What do you eat it weird? I, I went outside and we, I was, we were remodeling the bathroom. I went outside in the snow with flip flops and ate it on top of a toilet. I, <laughs> So that was my very first video, and then I think I chased it with a half a gallon of eggnog. No way! Yeah. How many views did you get on it? I don't. I never even walked. I don't know. I oh yeah. It was horrible. It was a okay. Video. Okay. Here we go. Can you watch your videos? I don't. I don't care enough to watch them. You don't. You don't care. Yeah. yeah. Not That's good. I lived it, so I don't. I don't care. I hate watch watching my videos. Like yeah. I like it. I will watch it once and then be like, I'm done. I can never watch it again. I might watch it to see if I swore or if oh, yeah. I, or something like that. So you try not to swear? I, not on my videos. Yeah, no. I don't either that much. YouTube is pretty wicked about stuff, but I don't like having, they'll demonetize stuff. And yeah, So YouTube's big on, is it kid-friendly and all that mm-hmm. stuff too, right? Mine aren't kid-friendly anyway, but mm-hmm. it's just like, I I don't want to cuss on my videos. That's just not who yeah. I want to be, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of the same way. Yeah. That's you don't need cool. the bleep, 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 bleep. Okay. <laughs> no, off camera, it might be a little bit different. I have a mouth on me sometimes, but not on my camera. <laughs> so my kids totally love your, your show, too. I was telling you that, and, and I want you to meet them, too, but they, they love it. They're like, oh, my gosh. No, they probably like my kids, too. Well, well you're going to come back down next time. Yeah. So you should bring your kids. No, I, I, if, they, if we are in school, which we probably won't be. Do you play any instruments? They all do. Do you? No. Do you sing? You don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I, I, I was going to start a band, but but if you can't, you can do like a tambourine or something. I mean, I did America's Got Talent once, but, you did? but I did not sing. Oh, I, really? I ate a five pound burrito. Oh, really? And I didn't get X and I never made the show. Oh, you didn't? Yeah. That stinks. Why not? Um, I don't know. <laughs> it was really sad, actually. I made it to the next round. Were they filming? Yeah. Can you see it? No. Oh, that stinks. No. I did the gong show and I won that one. Oh, you did? Yeah, with uh, Mike Myers. He was that guy. Uh, so I didn't that see was that. pretty. Yeah, I ate, uh, oh gosh, I think it was like about eight pounds of cottage cheese in like 75 seconds. <laughs> no, that, was pretty, that was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I bet you felt great after that. Was that when you projectile like? No, no, that's not very much food. That's that's pretty easy. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Nathan could probably do it, but I don't know. If it's that easy. He, he likes he likes the cheese. He does. That's okay. Yeah. Big cheese guy. He's big cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and his face tells it all over there. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll eat just about anything really. I, I mean. If I can get a good deal on it, I'm not really afraid to eat anything. I love watching your videos, and it's been, I love it that you're here. This is awesome. Like and I said, if I can balloon my channel up to this massive thing, I'll travel around the country and just come to people's houses and eat 
weird food. Yeah, it could be cool. Yeah. Yeah, I love it, man. I want to like do what you do and go around and film this show different places, but it's it's hard though. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a lot of time, and it's sometimes restaurants give you flack and they don't want to work with you, and then. I mean, if you don't call ahead, you can't just walk in and do it. You mm. usually have to plan ahead or how many hours in advance, and you have to actually travel to get there. How do you not get burned out? Like, you ever just get burned out? You're like, I don't want to do this anymore. You yeah, ever feel that way? You still got to eat. Yeah, and you eat for free if you Exactly, win. it's free. So if you don't have to pay for the food, That's awesome. you have no food bill. But I mean, you still tip. But I How mean, many shirts? Do you have like, like a million shirts that you win? No, yeah, I, I, don't, <laughs> I donated like 200 of them. Oh, you did? Yeah. You had 200 of them? Yeah, that was a couple years ago. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, what am I supposed to do with I me? Mean, because half the time they give me like a triple XL. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> sure. I'm like, ah, oh. well, you usually don't have the bigger people. The bigger people are usually the only ones who come in here. You're too I small. I like, ask you, yeah. Or they'll say, oh, we'll, we'll mail it to you. I'm like, then they don't mail it to you, so it's fine. Yeah, like, yeah. It's almost always like a triple X or double X shirt. I'm just like, I can't wear this. <laughs> but here you go. I'm like, thanks. Thanks. A <laughs> good photo op. Yeah. I remember LAB, so he won a competition, and uh, he was trying not to puke, and this guy's like, let me take a picture. Let me take a picture. <laughs> and he goes, like this, and he goes, ah. Yeah. He's like, yeah. and have a good day. Yeah, have a good day. Have a good day. My kids love that, by the way. Have a good day. Have a good day. Do you ever, like, want to have your own, like, signature, like, have a good day? Like, what do you... Uh, (laughs) I guess that just comes natural. I just say a lot of of weird crap on my videos. I don't... Whatever flies (laughs) on my mouth usually goes... Yeah, I like it when you're on the bell up and you're like, Water Boy? Who's that guy? Oh, oh, Water Boy. I think, yeah. I think his name is Doug. I thought that was your friend on there. Oh, I don't have any friends. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's sad. That's all like his clan and his. That was his clan. I, I thought that was your guy. Like, I thought that was one of your friends. Like, no, <laughs> I, like, I had no idea who the heck he was. <laughs> I was just like, oh, He had a lot of commentary during that. <laughs> well, because he got screwed some stuff up and his, oh, yeah? he screwed up the clock. And then, yes, and yeah. then they had to do that. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just, and, and after, after uh, Amy, uh, uh, Justin's wife, yeah, she's, she like, he, she's like, he's like, he screwed up the clock. I didn't know if you noticed. I'm like, yeah, I noticed right away. Oh. Uh, so it's like, I, I knew it was already different. She had a good save, though, because she had something there. I guess. No, and she popped it up there on the bottom, too. So it's like, we, we talked about it afterwards. Like, yeah, I knew. Dude, I, we need a clock on ours. <laughs> I don't know if we have a clock on. I'll just, uh. You yeah. can use that thing? Yeah, we'll just use this fancy thing right yeah. there. I'll try not to screw it up. That's not that hard. So <laughs> press the button. Molly, thank you for being on the show. No, it's And you awesome. got to come back. You're more than welcome. I will come back whenever. That's awesome. I'm we got to do totally more of these. Totally excited about that. And then it's like my kids can come down and like mess with your instruments and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. My kids, my kids are so used to them that they get bored now. They're like, really? Oh, because it's there all the time. So, you know, it, when you show a kid a drum set for the first time, they're like, oh my god! But if it's there all the time, it becomes. For my kids, not in general. Yeah. For my kids, it's more like furniture. <laughs> yeah, our drums downstairs aren't being used very often. Yeah. I mean, one plays a guitar. We've got a trumpet, a clarinet, a violin. We have a tuba. Nice. Yeah. Do you a... play it? No. I'm trying to. Say, I mean, I could probably I'm, try to hide something. I'm trying in to get area. us in a band right now. I'm like, you play tuba because I play drums. Tuba. We can bring a tuba down. I'll shove it. In, I'll shove it in the car. <laughs> it takes up the whole back seat. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. We'll get Garrett to do do the tuba. We play piano. tuba. Piano player, guitar player. Nice. We have piano too. Yeah. Yep. We'll get Carl to sing, and Nathan will take his shirt off. We yeah. <laughs> Wait, we can do like a little bit of a Chippendales thing going on. So wave that. Ah, that's good. Oh, I can't wait for this. I'll be Patrick here. Swayze, of course. Right. Someone can be smearing <laughs> peanut butter. <somewhere. laughs> that's good. Yeah. Molly, thank you for being on the show. No, awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to shake your hand, but this whole thing, like, there we go. Mm. Got this whole uh, social distancing get away from me. I know, this awkward distancing. It is. It it, it really is. This has been a sad... Year. <laughs> this whole year has I been sad. This what sad. happened to the murder hornets? This has been a sad what happened to the murder hornets? Mur- I was kind of missing them. Have you ever seen the the murder hornets are on YouTube? Like, like other bees attack them, and it's yeah, awesome. Yeah, massive. Are, yeah. Yeah, they're huge. I heard the Philippines have these man-sized bats, so that's pretty crazy, too. Yeah, well, I'm waiting for the unicorns to take over the planet. So. That would be cool. Yeah, that's going to happen. Just waiting for it. Molly, thank you for being on the show. No, thanks, dude. That's awesome. Appreciate it. Let's <laughs> eat some tacos. <laughs>
Good company, interview one, take one. Good job, Gary. Good job, Gary. Hell of a job. Thanks, Gary. Nice, Thanks, man. Grand pass. Woo!